build anything with open code here's how and it's free you can build apps tools websites anything you want just type what you want and it builds it for you no coding needed no experience needed watch me build a lead generator for the ai profit boardroom in 10 minutes this is insane all right let's talk about open code this thing is crazy you can build literally anything with it apps websites business tools whatever you need and it's completely free no subscriptions no hidden costs nothing i'm going to show you exactly how to use it and i'm going to build a real tool right in front of you a lead qualifier chatbot for the ai profit boardroom the kind of tool that normally takes weeks to build we're doing it in minutes so what is open code it's an ai coding agent you tell it what you want in plain english it writes all the code for you you don't need to know how to code you don't need any experience you just type what you want like you're texting a friend and boom it builds it hey if we haven't met already I'm the digital avatar of Julian Goldie, CEO of SEO agency, Goldie Agency. Whilst he's helping clients get more leads and customers, I'm here to help you get the latest AI updates. Julian Goldie reads every comment, so make sure you comment below. Here's what makes it different from everything else out there. First, it supports over 75 different AI models, Claude, Gemini, Grok, all of them. You can switch between models anytime you want. Second, it keeps everything local on your computer. Your code never goes to some random server, total privacy. Third, it has this plan and build mode system that's genius. I'll show you that in a second. Now, let me show you how to actually use this thing. Go to opencode.ai. That's the official site. You can use it three ways, terminal, desktop app, or web app. I'm using the web app because it's the easiest to show you. You can access it through their GitHub or host it yourself if you want. Link is github.com slash chris dash TSE slash opencode dash web. When you first open it up, you need to connect an AI model. You do this with a command, type slash connect, then pick your model. You can use free ones like Grok or Gemini, or you can use their Zen service, or plug in your own API keys if you have them. I'm using Claude because it's the best for coding right now. Right, here's where it gets good. Open code has two modes, plan mode and build mode. You switch between them by pressing tab. This is huge. Let me explain why. Plan mode is where you tell open code what you want. It creates a full plan, step by step, every feature, every file, every detail, you can review it, change it, add stuff, remove stuff. You get to see exactly what it's going to build before it builds anything. Then you switch to build mode and it actually creates everything, files, code, the whole thing right in front of you. You can see every change it makes, every line of code. And if you don't like something, you can undo it or tell it to change it. It's like having a developer sitting next to you doing exactly what you say. Before I show you the actual build, quick thing, if you want to save hours every single day and automate your business with AI tools like open code, you need to check out the AI Profit Boardroom. It's where we share the exact tools, systems and automations that are working right now. Real businesses, real results, no fluff. We're building tools like this lead qualifier, setting up automations and sharing everything that works. Link is in the description. All right, back to the build. Let me build this lead qualifier chatbot right now. I'm going to start in plan mode. Watch this. I type my prompt. Plan a lead qualifier chatbot for the AI profit boardroom. It asks visitors about their business, their biggest challenge with AI automation, their budget and their timeline. Then it qualifies them as hot, warm or cold leads. Hot leads get an instant booking link. Warm leads get a nurture sequence. Cold leads get free resources. Use HTML and JavaScript. Make it look professional. Store everything in local storage. That's it. That's my prompt. Now I hit enter and watch what happens. Open code starts thinking is creating the entire plan. Look at this. It's breaking down every single step. It's planning the UI, the logic, the qualification system, the storage, everything. And here's the cool part. I can read through this plan. If I want to change something, I just tell it. Let me add something. Add an ROI calculator that shows how much time they'll save with AI automation. Boom. It updates the plan, adds the calculator shows me exactly how it's going to work. This is why plan mode is so powerful. You're not just hoping it builds the right thing. You know exactly what you're getting. You can iterate, you can refine, you can make it perfect before any code gets written. Now I'm switching to build mode. I press tab and I tell it, build this now. Watch what happens. It starts creating files, index.html, app.js, styles.css. You can see every file it creates, every line of code it writes. This is all happening in real time. Look at this. It's building the form the qualification logic, the ROI calculator, the booking integration, everything. And I'm just sitting here watching it work. This would normally take developers days to build. Open code is doing it in minutes for free. All right, the build is done. Let me test it. I'm going to pretend I'm a visitor to the AI Profit Boardroom website. I fill out the form. Business type, challenge with AI budget, timeline. The ROI calculator updates automatically, 
shows me I can save 20 hours a week with automation, I submit the form, boom. It qualifies me as a hot lead, shows me a booking link, perfect. But let's say I want to change something, maybe the design isn't quite right, or I want to add another feature, no problem. I just tell OpenCode what to change, make the design more modern, add a progress bar, make the ROI calculator more prominent. It updates everything, shows me the diffs, I can see exactly what changed. If I don't like it, I hit undo. Easy. Here's another powerful thing. You can switch AI models mid-session. Let's say Claude is being slow. Or you want to try a different model for a specific task. You just type slash connect again. Pick a different model. Keep working. Your project stays the same. You just change the brain behind it. Now, let me show you something advanced. Let's add Stripe integration. Add Stripe payment integration for premium features. Users can upgrade to unlock advanced ROI analytics and custom reporting. Open code adds it creates the payment flow, sets up the upgrade logic. This is the kind of stuff that normally requires a whole development team. Or let's make this SaaS ready. Add user authentication. Users can create accounts, save their data, and access it from anywhere. I, boom, it builds the auth system, the database structure, everything. You now have a full SaaS application built in less than an hour with zero coding knowledge. When you're done, you can export everything, push it to GitHub, deploy it to a server, whatever you want, OpenCode gives you all the files, all the code, you own it, you can do whatever you want with it. Compare this to building manually. If you hired a developer, this would cost thousands. If you learned to code yourself, it would take months. With OpenCode, you just described what you wanted and it built it. That's insane. Let me give you some real examples of what people are building. Lead magnets, quiz funnels, CRM systems, finance trackers, booking systems, internal tools, dashboard apps, landing pages, email collectors, the list goes on. If you can describe it, OpenCode can build it. And because it supports so many AI models, you can pick the best one for your task. Claude is amazing for complex logic. Gemini is great for creative stuff. Grok is fast and free. You have options. You're not locked into one system. The privacy thing is huge too. Everything stays on your computer, your code, your data, your ideas. Nothing gets sent to random servers. If you're building something for your business, you want that privacy, you don't want your code floating around the internet. Here's what I want you to do right now. Go to opencode.ai, download it, pick your version, terminal, desktop or web, set it up. It takes like five minutes, then build something, anything, a simple landing page, a calculator, a form, whatever, just to see how it works. Start small, get comfortable with plan mode and build mode. Learn how to give it good prompts. The better your prompts, the better your results. Be specific, tell it exactly what you want what it should look like, how it should work, what features it needs. The more detail, the better. Then build something for your business, a tool you actually need. Maybe it's a lead qualifier like I just built. Maybe it's an internal dashboard. Maybe it's a client portal. Whatever would actually help you build it, test it, use it. You'll be shocked at how good it is. All right, if you want to learn how to save time and automate your entire business with AI tools like Open Code, join the AI Profit Boardroom. We're building these tools every single day, sharing what works, showing you exactly how to implement them, in your business no theory just real tools that get real results link is in the description and if you want the full process sops and over 100 ai use cases like this one join the ai success lab is completely free you'll get all the video notes plus access to our community of 40,000 members who are crushing it with ai we share templates prompts strategies everything links are in the comments and description open code is a game changer it's free it's powerful it's private and it can build literally anything you can think of Stop spending months learning to code. Just use open code, describe what you want, let it build it, that's it. If you got value from this, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment open code below so I know you watch this. Julian reads every single comment, he'll see it, and seriously, go build something right now. Don't wait, go to opencode.ai and start building. You'll thank me later, I'll see you in the next one.